Gulf Coast Maker and Comic Con 2018 coverage is proudly powered by Amazon Prime. Find out all of the included benefits and get a 30-day free trial by going to plugkitslive.com slash prime and by audiobooks.com. Get a 30-day trial and a free audiobook to keep by going to audiobooks.com and using promo code TRY70. Well, I've got some good news. We, uh, we made a comment a little while ago. <laughs> then we have a friend that, that fills in. And she's here. Hello. Hello. Go ahead and introduce yourself for those who don't know you. I'm Anna. I work with Gypsies Weavings. I do chain mail and scale mail, armor, and jewelry. And we've, we've had the opportunity to talk a number of times, which is wonderful because I love, I love your work. Yeah, we, your work obviously, is very amazing. We've had a lot of conversations off air, too, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> over the years. <laughs> I, I love what you do. And probably since the last time we've talked on air, you've added stuff to your repertoire. <laughs> In fact, I have some of it with me. Awesome. So let's talk about what you're doing. I actually, as of last year, one thing I mentioned last time I was on air is every year I pick something just outside my skill set to learn. <clears throat> so starting last year, the challenge was historically riveted chainmail. Oh. This is what, if you go to the Tower of what? London. What? Yeah. <laughs> so this is what, I'm sorry? This is <sighs> what, if you go to the Tower of London, that's what you'll actually see. Wow. Whoa. Okay, so j I, I guess to, to clarify, in the past, what we've seen has been, has been kind of hand-done but perfect loops. Hand-done, perfect loops, and the loops only touch. They're called right. butted mail. This, they overlap. A rivet is driven through it. And it's now sealed so shut. So they're joined. Yes. Wow. I. Okay. So. <laughs> obviously, a much different process than. <laughs> it actually is. It's the same standard process, but with two extra steps. Okay. Which is normally it's twist open, twist closed. Okay. This, after I twist back closed, I have to put a. Uh, small rivet uh, basically it's a wedge that then gets crimped Ooh. and hit with the hammer on top of an anvil <coughs> and it's cold forged shut okay so <laughs> on top of all of it you're doing the process accurately yes. too yes okay i ever, just okay needed <laughs> to verify let, let it's, it's not like you've got a a special tool that it goes and just you nope. move on you're holding it with a, a fairly generic thing and hitting it with a fairly generic thing on an honest anvil. Yes. Well, it's a railroad piece, but yes, it is an anvil. <laughs> Can I ask you a nerdy question? Absolutely. Do you ever put yourself like in a character when you're doing this? Like you just feel like you're getting into like the groove? I won't lie. This was being made <laughs> while marathoning Vikings. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. I love it. I love That's it. Because you need something fantastic. to put yourself into that mindset, like you said. Yes, definitely. And the TV show Vikings put you in it is a great show for that. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I'm sitting sure? there watching them. They're even they're doing forging in the show and everything. Oh wow! And here I am also in my living room. Sure. Doing it. <laughs> oh my gosh! I applaud you for that. Do, That's amazing. Doing a thing that, under most circumstances, is massively bizarre. <clears throat> right? Yeah, yeah. But, but obviously totally in your wheelhouse and relevant to the thing you're watching. That's, that's so cool. <laughs> it's definitely been one of my more fun projects. It's going to be a full coif okay, that's by the time I'm done. Okay. And this is being entered into competitions. Ooh. So which competition? Okay. Fascinating. Uh, I'm with the Society for Creative Anachronism. Okay. And one of the things that we do is... Once a year, everybody in the state of Florida or Kingdom of Trimaris gets together and our artisans can enter a competition to see basically, could we fool a museum? Could we walk oh. in with our piece, walk around and leave? Or would security stop us? 
Oh. So we're judged on these criteria of perfection of accuracy. I love it. Okay. So I entered this January as an in progress, and I'm going to re-enter next January with the completed. And what is that that's process a, awesome. of the competition look like? Everyone takes it a little bit differently. Um, for m- my work, it's showing that I understand what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. And at the level I'm entering at, because there's the most basic of novice to the actual master craftsman, I'm wanting to show a true understanding of what they went through. So I'm having to explain going, the, these were bought. This was from a iron forger. This was made by me with the tools I bought. And I actually have to explain each piece of creation and production. Okay. And other than, you know, accolades, there's no real prize. Yeah. Okay. It, it's bragging rights, really. Sure. <laughs> sure. It's complete bragging rights. And this piece here, how long did this take you to make so far? I want to say that's about 40, 42 hours okay. of work right there. The and how much time do you dedicate, like, out of your, like, work? This is when after I get home from my day job of a preschool teacher. Oh. Um, <laughs> that was an adorable <laughs> response. I love it. Coming home and working for a few hours, I stop work at 8 o'clock at night. Okay. Because I'm in a townhouse connected on both sides to other townhouses. <laughs> oh, yeah. And this is not quiet. It's noisy. Sure. <laughs> it, is, it is not quiet. So at 8 o'clock. I pack everything away. Game game over. Because it's not fair to them if they needed to go to bed, if they have children. Sure. Et cetera. Because they didn't know what they were getting into being your neighbor. (laughs) Nope. (laughs) (laughs) I I mean, they've come outside and seen me welding chain mail before. And they're like, what are you welding? Why? Because. I have a welder. (laughs) (laughs) Because it's Tuesday. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> what do you do on your Tuesdays? <laughs> Silly question. Yeah, right. <laughs> so let me ask you, are there any, like, issues you've had with this project? Yes. <laughs> Let's get into that. that. This was interesting. I was working always either in climate controlled or in hot weather because it's Florida. When we had that really cold snap okay. back in December uh-huh. and it dropped below 60 I actually had links explode. It got too cold for the metal. Oh, wow. wow. And I didn't realize it. I didn't know that was a thing. So I am I went to go set and hammer, and suddenly I'm like, whoa, flying metal right at my face. Wowzer. And I put it aside, went to go find a couple people that do hot foraging. And they're like, yeah, it's too cold. <laughs> Fascinating. Okay, that's why they would keep their materials by a fire when they were in London because it would get below about 75 is your break point. You don't want to go below 75. Interesting. So you're learning a great bit of information even like historically. I, I like why in, they do the things that they do. I've ended up having to learn chemistry <laughs> Oh, with this project yeah. because I need to know what oil can I put on here. If I use linseed oil, will that cause corruption? Or do I need to actually buy gun oil? By the way, don't use gun oil. (laughs) (laughs) That sounds, by the tone of your voice, that sounds like a lesson learned the hard way. Yes, yes, it was. (laughs) Thankfully, it was a very small piece. Wasn't a total wash. And my uncle, who's a gunsmith, was like, yeah, no, if I had realized what you were doing, I wouldn't have let you done that. Sure. So I've learned chemistry. I've learned physics. This is extraordinary. Sure. I love it. That's, that's, I, I love the look of it. I, obviously is there a way we can like hold it up? Yeah. For, here, I'm going to let <coughs> you do that. Because I don't want to, I don't want to, I barely she doesn't touch want it. to She doesn't <laughs> want to be the next gun oil, I think is what she's telling you. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Point Which camera? Okay, there this we go. This right here. That's. The work is extraordinary. Yeah, the detail on it is 
incredible. I love it. And I obviously I have liked <laughs> the stuff that you've had before, but something about like the rivet and the fact that it just naturally it's going to move and so it's randomly placed and it's not like a Is it's that not a, true a pattern. it's not a 100% pattern. There's yeah. there's chaos to it, which makes it even more unique than your normal work. And the rivets is get so it cool. so much detail, too. Yeah. They really do. And it's going to be a very exciting to me to be able to get to actually wear the finished piece. Yeah. Because I love wearing my normal coif anyway. And this is going to add just that level of fun. Sure. That I'm going to have to make sure to always wear a covering under it. Because, again, it's got oil on it. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. 24-7. Sure. So that's what this is for is actually to help protect hands people want to look at it because yeah got it oil's messy <laughs> sure Definitely. but it's not gun oil <laughs> not gun oil mm. machine oil <laughs> <laughs> well i i love this i i really love that you said that this is that the, your tools are also authentic yep <laughs> it's not even that you don't have a special tool it's that this was made. <laughs> it wasn't like machined. This was nope. made by like the guys outside. Like it was that. I love that. And everything's authentic. It's, so this it's, is an actual farrier's hammer that I picked up. Oh wow! Because I was using modern hammers, and I noticed it, nothing worked. Like you, you can see the early rivets. They're still very popped up. They're not sealing right. Versus the ones on the edge. Or very the actual, or, yeah. the change in type of hammer That's matters. Makes a difference. And that goes back to the physics. That's so fascinating. The weight and the speed and all of and that. the distribution of the weight. Yeah. That's wow. awesome. Yeah. Okay. So, Go ahead. Yeah. If, if, um, so we're going to ask contact information. If anyone wanted to like find out more about what you do and wanted to connect with you, where could they go? I also would like to know if you have any like social media handles where we can see your progress. The easiest way to find me is on Facebook, Gypsies Weavings. And I believe when I um, signed up, I gave you guys the information. Mm -hmm. I also shared the video before coming on here. <laughs> um, Excellent. I'm also on Instagram under the same name. I've got Twitter, same name. I think everything's the same. Gypsies Weavings, it, it's hard to miss me. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Well, fantastic. Thank you so much Thank for, you. for coming on again and for bringing this. Art. It's, <laughs> it's art. <laughs> it's Let's so just say. cool. Thank, <laughs> Thank you so you. much. Love it. Thank you. Have a good rest of the day. You too. All right. Wow. Um, I love that. I That's definitely <clears> do. I. I remember when she added the the uh, the scales. Yes, oh, uh, which was what she was wearing. Yes, a couple of years ago when when she brought those on for us the first time, I got so excited about about the scales because they were a cool addition. But this this is next level. This is I love how unique. she challenges herself every yeah. year. She pushes herself to learn something new, and then does it. Yeah, it you know? can't it she can't just be the same thing. I don't just do this one thing. I do lots of things. <clears throat> um.